Welcome to Chronicles of the Lost. King Jehu, the son of Jehoshaphat and the grandson of Nimshi, is prominently mentioned in the biblical books of 2 Kings and 2 Chronicles. He became the 10th king of the northern kingdom of Israel around the 9th century BCE. Jehu's rise to power was divinely orchestrated as he was anointed by a young prophet under the directive of Elisha. This anointment carried a specific mandate to destroy the house of Ahab for their idolatry and the blood they had shed. Jehu began his mission with great fervor. He intercepted King Joram of Israel in Jezreel, where he shot and killed him with an arrow. Jehu's zeal didn't stop there. He pursued King Ahaziah of Judah, who was present during Joram's assassination. One of the most dramatic events of Jehu's reign was the death of Jezebel, Ahab's widow. As Jehu entered Jezreel, Jezebel, adorned with makeup, looked down from a window. At Jehu's command, some eunuchs threw her down and her body was consumed by dogs, fulfilling a prophecy made by Elijah. Jehu then gathered all the worshippers of Baal under the pretense of holding a great sacrifice for Baal. Once they were assembled in the temple of Baal, he ordered his guards to slaughter them all, ensuring the extermination of Baal worship in Israel. However, despite these rigorous reforms, Jehu did not depart from the sins of Jeroboam, who had set up golden calves in Bethel and Dan. While God had promised Jehu that his descendants would rule Israel for four generations due to his efforts against the house of Ahab, the kingdom suffered. Hazael, king of Syria, seized considerable territories from Israel during Jehu's reign. King Jehu reigned in Samaria for 28 years. His reign was marked by a mix of zealous religious reforms and continued idolatry, highlighting the complexities of Israel's religious and political landscape during that period.